All right, we're getting a rare late start here on a windy Friday. Got Captain Justin Bowles with me. We're actually on his boat, also C-Mac. So you know this is gonna be a fun day. If we can overcome two things that are working against us. Number one is this stiff Northwest breeze. Even though it's the month of May, we had a cold front come through and the wind's definitely howling. Not only that, we don't have any water movement today. It's one of those days where the tide just kind of meanders back and forth. And of all the things in South Louisiana that make fishing tough, nothing is harder to overcome than a dead tide. But we're determined to do it today. We just left out of Point Lahash. We're fishing deep in Plaquemines Parish, and there's been plenty of speckled trout in this area, so we're hoping to run across a few of them. It does appear to be a current line right there, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Good sign. Dude, I know who that is. <laughs> That's Jonathan Ryan. That is your buddy, Jonathan. Yep, it sure is. We should start yelling at him from back here before he knows it's over. How many you got? <laughs> I just suspect you are. There's no, there's no tide moving. That's why. Is it really? I'm, I'm looking at you. Uh huh. Yeah, we're in Justin's boat. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Justin's got one. Fish on, fish on, speckled trout. There we go, nice fish. Spot lock, or, well it's gonna be deep here. How deep is it? It's gonna be deep, it's probably 10 feet. So we just started fishing, we just came out here. I got you. All right, we'll, we'll be over there a little bit, chat with you. All right, bye. Dead on the bottom? Nobody's right. keeping fish? You don't want fish? I don't have ice. Oh, you don't have ice? I mean, I don't want fish. But... I mean, I felt it come off the ledge, like shallow. He was more out. There, just missed him. He's doing your little draggy drag thing? Or you you just hopping it? Just hop. Oh, dude, I got smoked. Absolutely blistered. All right, C-Mac. C-Mac got him. That one didn't spit it. He knocked, he knocked it towards me. I didn't really feel it tap it. I just thought the line just slapped. Feel decent? That is all right. Yep. About 14, 15 inches. You got to do the fun part and get your hands dirty. C-Mac! C-Mac. Good fish. It again. Man, you lost another one. There he is. Spick a trout! Get him, C-Mac! Oh, Jonathan's hooked up. Definitely keeper, but we're not keeping fish. You lost another one? See, dude. Justin, you got a towel anywhere on this boat? In the console, or the front door. Right here? Man, it's not even skanky yet. So, this is the limbo slice that I threw on my last trip. Actually, C Mac was on that last trip, along with Joel. I don't think I changed the bait the whole day. It's pretty torn up. But it's still holding thanks to this death grip jig head. C Mac, what color are you throwing? Limbo slice. Limbo slice. Justin, what are you throwing? Holy Jolie. Justin's throwing a holy Jolie. What I had tied on from my last trip yesterday. In this dirty water, Justin's throwing a holy Jolie. He's gotten several bites. Justin's actually been fishing the trestles every day, catching uh, plenty of fish. And dude, would you say yesterday you had to uh, you had to like drag the bait, right? That was the key. Yep, dragging it on the bottom, and it was a drastic difference. Drastic in what sense? Like in, I, as far as connections, or as just far more as hits? Connections and more hits. I mean, I was getting hits jigging it, but as soon as I started dragging it, they were just inhaling it. This time of year, those water temperatures get up. Right now, water temp here where we're fishing is 81 degrees, and those fish get a whole lot smarter. Their brains work properly, and they just kind of hit these plastics to try and kill them. So you got to be quick on the draw. 
but Justin discovered something yesterday that went from getting hits to getting connections just by dragging the bait. And I've seen the opposite be the case as well. Sometimes you gotta fish it a lot faster, but I know doing this, you absolutely wanna get it to the bottom. We've kind of gotten to this little bayou and we've got just a slowly falling tide. Water's pretty dirty. You can't see the trolling motor foot at all. But these fish want to be in here because there's so much bait. And these are fish that just haven't left to go outside yet to spawn. That day's fast approaching, but it's not here yet. I'm sure some have already gone out, but obviously these haven't. There he is. They're hitting the bait. I limit myself only keeping three fish a trip now. Three? Three. That's, man, you're quite the conservationist. What's with all those tables full of fish I see? Oh, those are for my customers. Oh, okay. There's another one. Beautiful, beautiful. Obviously, it's not a big fish, but just so pretty in this fresher water. It's so dark with the yellow accents. Beautiful fish. I wonder if we should keep any fish for him. Let me ask him. Yeah, we're not we're not keeping fish, um, but we're catching them. Do you want us to keep these fish for you? Do you want them? Sure. Okay. All right. Bye. Northwest wind in May. Remember when Madonna was on Saturday Night Live? She was in the bed with Garth. Oh, what the f is this? That was a very weird hit. Wow, look, whatever it is. Oh, it's a big oh. trout. It's a big trout. Good gracious, son. Am I gonna flip him? I don't think Justin's getting the net. Uh yeah, net him. Let's get a let's get a picture. It's a good trout. Yeah, that's Here, nice. take my picture. Get him, C Mac! C Mac, see if you can get this one in the boat. Come on, let's get this one in the boat, buddy. We're pulling for you. We're pulling for you. Come on. Make it dry. Come on, you can do it. Okay, explain Get this fish in. All on, right. Man. You got, got him. That was on the slide. Got him. That's a better fish. On your, you mean your slow roll? Thank you. Yeah. My dad there? Let me talk to dad. Oh, God. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good trout. Notice how many of them are getting off when you swing them in the boat? Yeah. Well, that tells you. Don't worry, Justin, I'll get him. There you go. Got him? Yep. Nice. Such a pretty sight. Such a pretty sight. Got him? Yeah, oh yeah. Good fish. That's where they're at, like where you're coming from. Good fish. He's gonna get it. God's line. I just got like hit so far. Look at my bait. Yep. You got on a death grip? No. Look at that. Good fish. 
almost like you feel there you, you finally got a hook in one? Yep. It's a good fish, you need the net? Dude, you got the little squat going on. Might be a good fish. He's under the motor. Nope, not a good fish, just a keeper. Just a solid keeper. But no, I think Todd's right. That's the ones where you just gotta do like whoever that singer was. Take the money and run. Steve Miller band. Yeah, woo, man. Woo, woo. woo, woo, woo. There he is. Oh. oh. By the way, Abracadabra by the Steve Miller Band is the worst. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. That's the worst rock and roll song ever written. I wanna reach out and stab you every time you call my name. Heat up like a burning flame. Burning flame. <laughs> Filled with desire. Kiss me, baby. Set my ass on fire. I heat up. I can't cool down. My situation goes round and round. Terrible <laughs> song. <laughs> they were has beens by then. Drug addled brains. Early Steve Miller band was good. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Justine! Flounder? Damn it. Let's let him know it's not a flounder. It's another trout. Another speckled trout. Oh, he threw your bait off. Yeah. Oh. Missed him. Ding ding. Oh, there he is. nice trout. Nice trout. There he is. Oh, and he is. Justin, let me, let me get a picture of you with that big fatty. When we catch it, if we catch right. another one, I'm ready. I'm going to let him go. He's getting dry. Let him go. Yeah, let him go. Catch another one. This is where I took. You ever see that video? I took my niece. Yeah. This is where we shot that. Your niece is kind of cute, Todd. Oh, yeah, she's cute. She's very cute. Check out the jobs at Walmart. That was a freaking thump thump. This is a good fish, bro. This is a good fish. They want to loosen your drag, bro. So pretty in this pretty water. Look at that, just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hey, we could probably trade that to the for the fellas back in the So I ate those, I ate two of those four the other night. I had to open the ones you got. These reds definitely stack up with these trout. It's never bad bycatch. This one's about 23, 24 inches. We're not keeping fish. This one's bigger than I would keep anyway. We're gonna let him go. All right, pretty much one stop shopping today. We did make a stop before we went to where we caught the fish. Didn't catch anything there, but once we went to that other area, the action was excellent. We didn't keep fish. We don't know if we got a limit. I don't think we did. We didn't catch 75 but I think we got a 10 per person limit. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on. You rang the bell. When I come down to Plaquemines Parish, a very common stop for me is the Phyllis Sack in Jesuit Bend. This place is always a beehive of activity. And I stop here because the gas has no ethanol, which is the only thing I'll put in my boat. And also it's a great place to grab a quick snack. They've got ready-made sandwiches and pizza. Just if you're in a hurry and want to eat something on the way home, you can really do it all here.